first off, you know, what is POTS, right? So essentially there's like dysautonomia happening, right? The autonomic nervous system that controls heart rate and blood pressure, uh, sweating, all of these different things. The symptoms are over-exaggerated now. So when you change body positions, you may get very dizzy, lightheaded, right? Your heart rate may be really up. Energy, fatigue may be up, right? In conventional medicine, they're going to use a tilt table test to kind of simulate that change in body position. And they're going to test your heart. They're going to test your blood pressure, okay? Now, the typical response you want in, in natural medicine, there's a test called the Raglan's test, which looks at blood pressure and correlates it to adrenal dysfunction. And so the Raglan's test basically tests your blood pressure when you're sitting or laying down and, it, and then you stand up or change body position. You want your blood pressure actually to go up about five to 10 points, okay? People that tend to be more on the pot side where they have a lot of those symptoms on changing their body position, they tend to actually have a drop in blood pressure. And that's important because when you change body positions, now, if, if you're like more horizontal, well, guess what? It's easier for your blood to flow to your brain, right? Because blood flows downhill and if it's level, then that, that works too, right? As soon as you get up, now you really have to pump blood uphill, if you will, to get to your brain. And so if you have a drop in blood pressure, you're not going to have enough pressure to perfuse that blood nutrition and oxygen to the brain. So that's a big thing. So you may have symptoms in regards to your heart, in regards to dizziness, right? Body awareness, all those different things, because you don't have adequate blood pressure. And so that's a common sign with adrenal issues. And it's possible to be on the POTS spectrum where you have that change in body position, you have that change in lower blood pressure, but you know, your conventional medical doctor may not be able to diagnose you with POTS because it's not severe enough. So like anything, there's a, there's a continuum on a diagnosis, right? Disease allopathic kind of criteria is here. And then we have optimal health here. And usually there's a spectrum of where you may sit, where you're kind of in no man's land. And so uh, most of our POTS patients, right, who are on that POTS spectrum where there's blood pressure issues on the lower side or the change in body position causes lots of disturbances cognitively, cognitive wise, heart issues, whether it's faster or, or beating through the chest kind of things or abnormal rhythm, all of these things are connected to adrenals. And adrenals are of course connected to blood sugar. They're connected to your minerals, your sodium, your chloride, your magnesium, your potassium, blood sugar, cortisol, glucocorticosteroids. And then of course your adrenals eventually have a connection with your sex hormone. So you can see chronically lower DHEA that can create other lower or more sex hormone imbalances that can create more issues, whether it's PMS, low progesterone, more anxiety, more depression, poor sleep. So you can see how an adrenal issue can easily spin into a sex hormone issue, partly because the adrenals really are one of the backup generators for the sex hormones. And so, especially if you're a female, you're going to rely on those adrenals to pump out DHEA sulfate. And that's going to be a major building block. So as you transition into menopause, you're going to rely more on those adrenals. So as you hit your forties, it's common as those ovaries aren't supporting the hormonal output like they used to, that you may start to lean more on the adrenals and more of those POTS type of symptoms may show up. Yeah. Well said.